everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Roxanne the tiny taster and today's recipe is a fantastic chicken tikka that you can make at home no tandoori no oven nothing so this recipe is really really easy it's just something that you could throw in together and make at home you don't have to order in it's light it's healthy um, it's carb free so it just sort of ticks all the boxes and I'm just trying to be a little more conscious of what I eat and how I eat so I find that this recipe is just perfect and I don't have to order I can make it at home just like this so I hope you enjoy the recipe if you do as always don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel below I'm also gonna put a link to the detailed recipe a written blog post will be in the description box so make sure to check that out and without any further ado let's get cooking for this recipe I've used boneless chicken thighs you can use boneless breast piece I just find the thighs more juicier and tender to this you're going to add in your salt your red chili powder and your ginger garlic paste just mix it all together and let it sit for about 30 minutes this is what they call the first marination I've gone a little easy on the red chili powder just because my family doesn't like it spicy you could add more and these are about the size of pieces that I've cut my chicken to now if you're using regular yogurt you want to hang it and squeeze out all the excess water like I have over here or you could use just Greek yogurt that's not a problem so to your yogurt mixture you want to add in about a table or a two tablespoons of mustard oil this just gives a really really wonderful flavor and then to that all your spices so add in your turmeric powder, some cumin powder, coriander powder and then I like to add some red food colouring just to give it a more orangish reddish tinge uh, and then mix it all together. At this point you can also add some garam masala and some more red chilli powder um, but I haven't because I'm just trying to keep this a little low on spice for the guys who are going to eat this but you can certainly add that as well. Lastly, you want to add in some crushed kasturi methi. It's just wonderful. It adds that signature scent or flavor to the tikkas and then just mix, mix, mix. This is your main marination. To this marination, you will add in the chicken that you have already been marinating and it's been sitting for about half an hour. Add it to this, mix it all well and then let this entire batch just sit and marinate for the second time for about 35 to 45 minutes maybe even an hour in a non-stick pan I've added just about half a teaspoon of some ghee or clarified butter you could use oil you could use regular butter any fat of your choice but I think ghee adds a nice flavor I just spread it around the pan and then gently one by one you want to place your chicken pieces in the pan just try and make sure that they don't stick to each other and you don't overcrowd the pan with too many pieces at one time because then the temperature just drops and it takes a longer time to cook so once you have all your pieces in you want to let the chicken cook on this side for about seven to eight minutes and then you'll notice when you flip it to the other side it starts getting a few charred lines just like it would in a tandoor and you cook it again on the other side for another seven to eight minutes so I think about a total of 15 minutes for each batch. Once your tikkas are ready you can just pop them out and then continue to do this for all the other pieces. A kilo of chicken which is what I've used will take about maybe five possibly six batches to cook so you just keep taking it out and plating it up. For the ones that were cooked earlier and they tend to cool down a bit you could just pop it back into the microwave and reheat it or pop it back into the pan one last time it's no problem but this is really it it's as simple as this your chicken tikka or rather I should say your home style chicken tikka with all these wonderful charred bits is completely ready to serve I love to eat this with some nice homemade green chutney and some pickled onions. I love this little red pinkish pickled onions. They're just so good. The tikkas are amazing. I promise you they taste just like you would have it from any restaurant. You can make them as big or small as you like. I'm going to leave all the details in the link below in the description box. Please check out that blog post for measurements and other little tips and tricks. And that's really it. I hope you enjoy it. Please do like, share, comment, leave me a comment always want to hear what you say subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys very very soon